What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Toothpicks. We got some tasty treats we're gonna be doing out on the smoker today. By the way, a girlfriend of seafood again. We're gonna be doing some of this lump crab meat stuffed mushrooms out there on the smoker. Stay tuned. All right, guys, look at this delicious lump crab meat right here. That looks real good. So let's go ahead and get to it, all right? So what we want to do, obviously you got your lump crab meat in there. I'm going to add some softened cream cheese right there. Put that all in there. Make sure it's softened at room temperature. I got some of these panko bread crumbs, all right? And I'm going to take about half of this. So this is about a cup, and you want to do about half of this in here. Just like that. I think that's about right. About half right there. The other one we'll be using for a topping. I got about two tablespoons of minced garlic. Okay. And then take a look. I got mushrooms over here. Now, these are some portobello mushrooms. Pretty nice size. Found them in my local grocery store. And what I've done, I've taken out the, um, the stems. And I left one in just to show you. So all you have to do is grab that joker and just twist, and it comes out. Now, what I'm going to do with these, I got a little food processor right here. And we're going to use this stuff right here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to pulse it, right? You get the idea. Just pulse it a couple times. That's about it. You don't want them. You want a little chunky. Some of them got more chunks than the other. Take that out. And give your stuffing a little more body, okay? Make sure you get all that good stuff out of there. Just like that. All right. Now, for some of our ingredients, get a little couple things out the way. All right. So now over here, you need some good mayo, okay? So I'm going to take about three heaping tablespoons of mayo. It's almost equivalent to two-thirds of a cup, like that. Put that in there. And then, I'm going to take a little bit of this Meat Church Holy Voodoo for a little seasoning in there, just like that, and put the rest of your season in your breadcrumb, right there. You want to take... A little parsley, dry parsley, finely chopped. Or if you got time, just take you some fresh and chop it up real fine. A couple little shakes. You can do this to taste. Add as much season, a little season you want, but you want it flavorful. I got a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic that I made up in the house. Just hit it a little bit of there. Not too much because you don't want it too salty. And then we want to add a little bit of oregano. Same thing with the parsley. Give it a couple shakes around. Almost a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. Okay, so once you got that in there, simple guys, like I said, take your spoon, go ahead and mix this all up with the cheese. Now, usually you can use about five ounces of cheese. I use the whole block because we like it a little cheesier. <laughs> and then after that, just keep mixing it, just like this. It might take a little while. I got some gloves on. You can use your hands if you want to mix this all in. Tell you what, I might just go ahead and do that. <laughs> just mix it all in, just like this. You want this incorporated real good. You might have a little bit left over. And if you do, all you have to do is put it in the um, freezer bag, put it in the freezer, and use it for next time. This would have took entirely too long to do with a spoon, so get you some gloves and do this. Right there, that looks real good, guys. Make sure it's all mixed up real good. Get all that seasoning in there. It's kind of like folding. Just fold it in as you go with your hand. 
And I think that's pretty good right there. Get the little bits off. Go ahead and get my gloves off. And then, now, I got this Drago's butter. I got from Gulf Runner some of this garlic butter. And the reason I have that, I got about three tablespoons I've been heating up on the uh, stove in here in the back. They're right there. And I'm going to put it in this breadcrumb. So I'm just going to pour it in there. And this will give that bread, breadcrumb a little flavor and also allow it to brown for your topping. All right, so after you got that in there, let's go ahead and mix that up. Like that. And that's what you want it to look like. Look how yellow it turned. Got the season in there, everything. And it's ready to soak up all that good butter. Now, you come over, and then we're going to put this stuffing inside these mushrooms. Just like that. It's a new, good size. Now, I'm going to do a couple of these, okay? And then we'll come back and show you the finished version. All right, guys, for the sake of time, go ahead and sped through that. Now, look, all I did was put some of them breadcrumbs on the top just for a little crunch. Let me show you how I did that. Simple to do. Just put it on here at the top. You might, might fall a little bit, but kind of pat it on there right there. And then take, you know, if you got a little couple extra, we don't want to waste nothing. Just put it on some other ones. That's going to be real good. And that's about it. We'll go outside. We'll get the grill ready, and we'll be putting these on in a minute. All right, guys, so it's time to put these stuffed mushrooms on the grill. I got it up to about 350, 345, 350. That's where you want it. It's only going to take about 20 minutes. I got a little bit of cherry wood right here. I'm going to throw this little cherry wood right here in the side. Go ahead, knock my little vents down. And all I did is just lit a little half, about a chimney of coals. Not a half a chimney, about a chimney of coals. Got it up to temp. And the reason I got it on this rack right here is that way I can take it off easily. So we're going to go ahead and put this right here in the middle, just like that. Get ready to go ahead and close the lid. And we'll come back in about 10, 15 minutes and check it. All right, so it's been about 10, 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and take a look, see how these babies are doing. Oh, man, they're starting to get a little bit of color. Look at them right there. That's looking real good. So what I'm gonna do, I want it to brown a little more. I got the butter in there, but I wanna hit it with a little bit of this duck fat. And I don't wanna go too overboard with it. So what I'm gonna do is just kinda of give it a sweep. Just like this. Nice little sweep. And that's about it. We'll close this. Let it come back up to temp. Taking them up, checking about another 10 minutes, maybe 15, and we'll be taking it off. All right, so I think it's about time to take these off. This should be about golden brown, but I got something. I'm going to hit them with a little flame torch just to give a little more crispiness. So let's take a look at them. Look at them babies right there. Got a nice little golden brown. So I'm going to take my little torch and kind of just go over the top. Give a little, don't burn it, just kind of sweet. A little bit, a little bit of crust. That's all you want to do and that's about it that's all you want to do and we'll be taking these off and I'll meet you inside we'll take a look at it and taste one all right so we got the mushrooms off look at these bad boys right here look at the nice crust the golden brown that's from that garlic butter and from that duck fat I sprayed on there and you know what guys Let's stop talking. Let's go ahead and take a bite. I'm going to grab this little small one right here. Mm -mm -mm. I got me a little shiner to wash it down right there. See what it looks like. Not looks like. It looks good. Let's see what it tastes like. 
Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Boy, all that lump crab meat and cheese, that flavor, that's so good. You guys gotta try these. Put this on your menu. Get your grocery list out. Hey, lump crab stuffed mushrooms. Thanks to Golf Runner for the lump crab. Check them out, guys. Order your stuff if you can if you live in the Metroplex. Till next time, toothpicks. Mm mm mm.